I was clearly out of, uh, yeah, it's too much angle and too wide there, but the remainder of the run felt decent. Yep, on both lines. A little wobble there. Toss angle in. Gas. Slight tire drop. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. That's a decent run. That is a decent, decent run. Yo, what's cracking YouTube? How are you? Welcome back to episode two of VDC Tuning Guides. Uh, my name's Crispy. I stream on Twitch, have TikTok and stuff. This is new to YouTube. Rarely post on here, but hey, we're here. We're trying to make YouTube videos. Trying to help you. We've had a lot of good uh, comments coming back from the past uh, tuning videos. So here we go. We're driving the VDC BMW F22 M2 Eurofighter. Blah. That's a lot to, uh, to kind of process, but... Um, yeah, here we are. Let's uh, let's run you through. Uh, we're going to be driving on IDDS Chang, uh, and let's give it a crack. Let's see how we go. So pretty much the way that this series works, we start from a base car, and I pretty much help. I, I have a feel for the car, and I go through and I tune the car the way that I kind of feel it. Um, and it's going to be a base rough tune for every single track. So you can get that tune, you can save it, and then you can go on any track and kind of adjust and adjust and, and drive with it. Uh, the adjustments you will make based on each track will be mainly gear ratio. So let's head straight on into it and keeping it raw, clean cut, and away we go. So here we go. As you can see, um, you can see that everything is the exact same stock standard. Haven't touched anything at all. I can see a lot of stuff that's going to need tuning, but let's get to that in a moment. Straight off the rip, we need to get a lap in. Now, what I like to do is I like to get a lap in these cars, have a bit of a feel for it, uh, and then base the tune off of that. So, this is the uh, two-door Eurofighter, the M2. Uh, this car is gorgeous as fuck. I love it. It is beautiful. Have a look at that. Look at the wheels. Look at the wide body, the, the, the rear radiator, the quarter, the rear chop. The, ah, it's, just, it's just a gorgeous thing to look at. Okay, let's give it a lap and see how we go. I can notice straight off the rip that the uh, that the front end is really sloppy and it is really, really, really loose. Um, I can tell by the way that the car twitches straight away. I went first, second, third, the wheel went wobbly, but the car did not react. And it made me want to initiate a lot earlier. So let's start again. So when I come on gas, the front wheels get really loose. So it's like it's squatting and lifting the front. Um, let's have a little bit of a, let's try it one more time. Ooh, okay. You saw that? Straight away the car spun on, on the first clutch kick. So, uh, Instantly, I can tell the gearing is, is wrong for this track, only because I know the track. So I'm going to drop the gearing down so that my fourth gear is about 246 kilometers an hour. So it's a 3, 4, 6 ratio. Tire pressure can stay the same. It's totally fine. Alignment will get adjusted, but I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, diff will get adjusted, but I'm going to adjust the brake bias up to 72% because that's kind of what I like. And let's see how we go. The brake bias is, is, is anyone, can, you know, anyone can adjust the brake bias to how they like. With the V3 pedals, I feel like 72 to 75 is a great, is a great starting point. It's a great point to, to be at. Anything lower, you have, you'll be, you'll feel like you're applying more brake than you need. And then you're actually slowing the car down and not pivoting it when you're left foot brake. Let's give it a crack. Straight away with the gearing and the brakes. I notice a big difference. Okay, and we're in the wall. Just as I assumed that the coast and the diff, the diff and the alignment needs a big change. Okay. So let's go change the diff straight off the bat let's lead the alignment let's adjust the diff uh coast 100 bad let's drop down to about 50 uh i feel like this car needs a lot less because the car's lighter has a shorter wheelbase 
Uh, let's run a lower diff coast so the car wants to snap and grip. Uh, preload, let's jump that up to 8 newton meters off the rip and diff power is going to go down to 90. So 90 diff power, 50 coast and 8 newton meters. Let's try this out. So the reason why we're adjusting the diff is that it, if you decrease the coast, it stops the car from floating under when you're off throttle. It'll want to grip the car off throttle, which means that you're going to be applying more steering input, which hopefully in theory will pull you away from the wall. So let's give this a crack. Okay, little tip in, didn't have clutch kick, just flick the wheel in. Fine on the clips. We are applying a little bit too much left foot brake. Let's try and not go back to third there, stay in fourth. Have to go back to third here. Oh, and I didn't slow down enough. Okay, I think that corner there, I do have to slow down quite a bit for this wall. Let's go one more time. Uh, let's have a feel for it. And see if we like it. Have a sip of water. Mm. Give this a shot, shall we? Okay. Nice. Oh, went over the line there. Three, get back online now. And gas, 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 gas. Okay, <laughs> I'm struggling with this wall now. Uh, that's fine though, that's fine. Um, I want to fix this, I want to fix this issue where the car is, is, I want to fix this issue where the car feels like it's lifting the front. So by doing that, I'm going to add a little bit, I want to add the front sway bar in. I had zero on the front sway bar, I'm going to crank it up to 16 newton meters up front. So it's stiff in the front end up, so hopefully it doesn't get as loose and see how that goes. <laughs> Uh, it could be that the car is too gripped up, but I mean, I mean, uh, you want to have grip, right? You don't want to not have grip. So let's see if the sway bar is going to make the front end feel a bit better on takeoff. Okay, I noticed straight away on, when, on the initiation on the flip, the, the steering wheel is way more responsive. Play with throttle here. Nice, the car's got the torque to do so. Back to third. Keep it deep and buried. Lots of angle. Bump and grind the wall. All right, cool. Happy. One more lap like that. And then we can start adjusting the uh, the alignment. I feel like the alignment's gonna definitely help us here, uh, especially when it comes to the front end. Uh, but let's try and adjust everything around that before we go directly to the alignment. Because the alignment's like almost like a band-aid, right? If you band-aid the car, you won't fix the remaining of the issues. So let's try and test this out. Alright, I'm making adjustments. I'm making lots of wheel corrections, which is bad. I need to left foot brake there. All right, we're in the wall. Let's adjust these alignments. I think the alignment is the is the contributing factor to this. So as I can see here, we're running negative 4.9 degrees camber up front. I'm gonna drop that down so we're running 4.5. So I went from negative 4.7 on the left to negative 4.3, which then brings us to negative 4.5 on the car in, in, in real time. Toe on the front is neg 20. We're actually gonna increase that so it goes, so we're gonna decrease that so it goes to negative 30. So I'm gonna go negative 30 and to get to negative 30, I need to go 24 toe on the left. Cool, 24 toe on the left. Now rear end wise, uh, I want to add uh, more rear toe on the rear. I want it to be more positive, to be a little bit more aggressive. So let's run uh, 25 on the rear, which is gonna leave us, which is gonna put us at about uh, 80. Let's say 80 on the left. The reason why we're running a higher toe on the rear is because the car has such a short wheelbase that it's really snappy. Um, and I'm trying to 
make the car smooth rather than be snappy and look aggressive. If you want that snappy, if you want that snappy feel, put your rear toe to zero and you'll have all the snap in the world. If you wanna make it so it's less snappy, increase it a little bit. Um, you can go by increments of 10 uh, and then see how you feel per run. Uh, but I'm gonna make the drastic move and go to 0.25, uh, so a quarter of an inch. Um, and the uh, camber is sitting at 0.36. So let's actually uh, leave that because the suspension is quite soft and see where this leaves us. Okay, so we've done a full alignment, front and rear. Let's have a look and see if this is gonna actually help us here. Um, cool. Let's have a sus. And after, once we get a good lap down, we'll uh, we'll have a look at the replay and see what it looks like. All right, coming out of the gate. Sweet, okay. Still struggling with that wall, but I think that's just a skill issue right now. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with the car, it's just me being a bot. Which is totally fine, and that's normal. You know, like, not everyone can get perfect runs. I'm not a, I'm not a pro, pro, crazy pro driver. I'm just a dude that drives pro cars, and I just entertain people, bit of knowledge, that sort of thing, so. We all make mistakes, and that's the best part about Assetto, is that you hit the reset button, and you don't break your car, and you don't go home crying. Dab the brake when I pull the handbrake into that. All right, cool. Uh, let's go one more run, uh, and then let's have a look at the tune. See what we feel. I feel like that. I feel like the front tire pressure can come down a little bit, which might help this issue that I'm having. But we'll see. pretty happy with that I'm pretty happy with that guys let's check it out let's check it out I'm pretty pretty happy with that run that felt that felt solid um, the wall was good it wasn't perfect but it was good I was clearly out of uh, yeah it's too much angle and too wide there but the remainder of the run felt decent yep on both lines a little wobble there toss angle in Gas, slight tire drop. Well, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. That's a decent run. That is a decent, decent run. Um, before we leave it, I just want to adjust those tire pressures. I want to drop down from 28 to 26 psi on the front, and I want to uh, make a slight adjustment on the uh, front wheel rate. I'm going to drop it down from 88 to 78. Now what's that gonna do is, if you raise the value, it stiffens your suspension. If you drop your wheel rate, it decreases. Essentially, it's thick, think of it like the thickness of your springs in your suspension, right? Think of it that way. It's not exactly that, but it's the best way to kind of like, that's how I wrap my head around it. The higher the number, the thicker the, 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 the coil is, and the stiffer it's gonna be. The smaller the number, the thinner the coil, the more bouncier it's gonna be then you then have to adjust your uh, dampeners. But we're not going to, we're just going to straight off the rip adjust that and see how this feels. Now instantly I can tell you that it's a lot more doughier, it's not as, um, it's not as stiff, it's a lot more, it floats a lot more, but I, I just wanna see if it helps with the grip issue leading up to the line. I think I might need to go the other way. I 
think I might need to go the other way because right now I'm trying trying to find the sweet spot and I'm struggling. I'm struggling to find the sweet spot. The rear end's the same, but I'm struggling to find that sweet spot now. That sweet spot is it's gone missing. Where did you go? Uh, let's go up to 98. Let's go up the other way. So we went from 88 to 78, then back to 98. Slightly stiffer. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Maybe, maybe stiffer helps the slop when it comes to... It's not that it's sloppy, it just feels like I have no grip. Like, nothing on the front end. Let's try this out. Oh, and we did that again. Let's just reset quickly. Uh, for those that come by on Twitch, you guys know that I'm fucking notorious for uh, hitting cones. Notorious for hitting bloody cones. Uh, made a couple of memes out of it on TikTok. It's quite funny. All right, and three, two, one. Okay, much better. Insanely better. I noticed instantly the front end has a lot more, it's a lot more stiff, which means it has more grip. Um, stiff usually means you understeer and slide out a lot and there's a lot more slip in real life. I don't know, uh, that's my experiences, but I mean, look, that's fine. Now let's do one last final run, full aggression mode and see how we go. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's have a look at the replay quickly and then we can show you the tune and call it there. I'm cool. I'm happy with that. That was a nice run. I guess over with time you'll understand how far and fast the car will spin. I've never driven this car other than now. This is the first time driving it, so it feels pretty good. It feels pretty decent. Sweet! I'm happy with that. Okay, guys, uh, I'm just gonna close the, oh, wrong button. I'm just gonna minimize this camera and let's go through the start to the finish so you guys can kind of see. Uh, so gearing, we're running three, four, six. There's our tires there. There's fuel, electronics, alignment, dampeners, drivetrain, generic, suspensions. Cool. I'm happy, happy, happy with that. That's a, uh, that's a, uh, that's a good one. I'm happy with that. That's a good one. This car is good fun. Um, when you drive this car on any other track, this is a good bass tune. So I'm actually going to call this bass. B-A-S-E. Save. Okay, that's a great bass tune. Uh, the only thing I would adjust on other tracks would be gearing and then maybe some dampeners if the car, if the track's a bit bumpy, crank them up. If it's not bumpy, drop them down. But for the first time driving this car on this track and first time driving it in general, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up. Uh, so guys, if you enjoyed it, uh, be sure to leave a like, uh, chuck a comment down below. Um, yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. I hope the uh, tuning guide kind of helped you and I will see you on the next one. Peace, peace.